We're going to talk through connecting the Vermeer M7050 three-point mower to the tractor utilizing our two-point quick hitch bar. The first step is to, to connect the two-point bar to the tractor and we're going to show you that and make sure that you understand how it's oriented to get a good connection to the hitch. So we're going to install the two-point quick hitch bar on the tractor. One of the important things to remember with this bar is that we have this hook to the left side of the tractor when we install the bar. We'll slide it into each arm of the two-point and use our lynch pins to attach it. Our goal in utilizing the two-point quick hitch bar is to assist with connecting the mower to the tractor. In the past, you may have found it challenging to connect the three-point mower to the tractor because of the way the mower was sitting or maybe the way the hitch was oriented before you back the tractor to it. So before we back our tractor to the mower, we want to make sure that our stand is in the correct position. You can see on the decal here we have two positions for this stand. The upper hole here is designed to accommodate the quick hitch that you might have on the back of your tractor. Or as we're doing today, utilizing the two-point quick hitch bar, we want to utilize this lower hole. As we slowly back the tractor up, we want to make sure that our two-point quick hitch bar engages in each side of the hitch in the lower links. So we backed our tractor up and our two-point quick hitch bar is now engaged in the lower links of the hitch. The next step will be to connect our top link and we do that before we do anything else. We do not want to raise the cutter until we have this top link connected. So after we've connected the top link, we want to make sure to raise the hitch of the mower up to a point where we can pin the two-point quick hitch bar to the lower links of the mower. The next step is to take the pin out of storage, and on the right-hand side, we go over to the top, pin those in, and lock it in. On the left-hand side here, we take the pin out of storage, and we go underneath, run the pin through, and again, we're locking it in and capturing the two-point quick hitch bar now into the hitch of the mower. So we're gonna connect the PTO shaft now to the tractor. And it's important to keep in mind that when we raise the hitch of the mower up, we wanna make sure we get it to a point that we can connect the PTO shaft without interfering with the draw bar of the tractor. Well, the final steps of connecting our M7050 three-point mower to the tractor include connecting our hydraulic hose, and then we need to place our transport lock release rope in the cab of the tractor. So now we're going to bring our jack stand up to operating position. And that means we take this lynch pin out, remove the pin. We're going to spin it 180 degrees. And we're going to utilize the bottom hole here in the stand. So we're ready to go to the field and the next step then would be to raise the mower up until our transport lock engages. We're ready to unhook our mower from our tractor now. The first step is to put our remote, our hydraulic remote into float so that we can unhook our hydraulic hose. Before we do that, we want to try to get this machine on as flat a surface as we can. And then we're gonna rotate our jack stand around 180 degrees and drop it back down so that when we allow the hitch down, we've got the stand to rest on. We're gonna remove the lynch pin and pull the keeper pin out, spin it 180 degrees. And keep in mind, we're using our two point quick hitch bar today. So we're gonna utilize this second hole to place the stand. We've got our jack stand in place. So the next step will be to pull our transport lock rope back out of the cab of the tractor. And we're ready to unhook our hydraulic hose. And it stores right here on the side of the hitch. So we're gonna remove the PTO shaft from the tractor. And it stores here in the holder on the side of the hitch. And then we've gotta remove our pins from the lower links of the hitch. And we'll do that on both sides. And they store in this hole here on the side of the hitch also. We've lowered the hitch safely to the ground on our jack stand. The next step then is to remove the top link. It's 
So now we're ready to pull away from the mower and the tractor will be disconnected from the hitch of the cutter. If you have more questions or need more detail, refer to your owner's manual.